If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a lot of great stuff to go over, guys. We have a new promo coming to the game tomorrow that's been hinted at for quite a while, which is Team Standouts. We have two LTDs today, which are the Thursday LTDs. We got a bunch of free players. We got a bunch of stuff to go over, guys. A ton of stuff. Super excited to go over everything. I'm going to start with the LTDs to knock this out of the way nice and early and then get into all the team standout stuff. Go over some of the screenshots. We're getting three tomorrow. We're getting 24 new power-ups tomorrow because, of course, well, overall from this, I should say, not just tomorrow because there are 24 team standouts that don't have power-ups, so they're, of course, getting those in their sets. But going to the Poodle Squad shout-out for today, guys. If you guys do want a chance to be shouted out, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that notification bell. Once you do all those things, you are entered to be shouted out. Today's Poodle Squad shout out goes to Larry Miller. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you, man. Thank you for showing support each and every day. Now, moving on from that, guys, if you need coins to pick up these LTDs or coins to tomorrow's team standout collections or anything, head on over to MuttReserve.com. You can also buy, uh, well, it's down below in the description, by the way. You can also buy the LTDs directly on there or training or anything you need on there. Coins are discounted, so is training and players, so take advantage. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Now, let's get to the LTDs. Darren Waller is arguably the new meta. Darren Waller is insane. This is the new LTD for today, one of them. Tight end, 90 overall vertical threat, 87 speed. He is a power up guy, so he can get 88 speed. But let's go over his stats: 67 strength, 92 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 92 short out running, and 89 medium out running. So powered up and chemed up guys, he will have 88 speed, which makes him the fastest tight end by a large margin in Madden 21. He will have 93 catching, 88 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch threshold, 93 short running, and 90 medium out running threshold. So he's going to be a wide receiver. He's pretty much going to be a wide receiver matched up with outside linebackers, linebackers, and occasionally safeties. Going to be crazy because the thing is, like I say, tight ends always get open in space. They just sometimes uncovered, especially in certain blitz schemes and stuff. So if Darren Waller is able to go ahead and get open in space, which is going to happen all the time, that 87 speed is going to feel a lot more deadly than you guys think because, like I said, 84 speed tight ends get loose. Imagine a guy like Waller with an 87. It's going to be really, really good. Now, here we go. Every Williamson is the next one. He got a middle linebacker card, 91 overall for the Jets. 84 speed, 88 excel, 77 strength, 93 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 block shit, 87 power, hit power, and 68 zone. Not going to be able to, he's, he's going to be like, I don't know, like he's kind of built like a baby Ray Lewis where he's kind of like decent speed, like slower speed, good hit power, good block. So he's going to be great at stopping the run. Great run stuff. If, you need to, if you've been struggling to stop the run, I guess you can rock with him. I personally don't recommend it, but... I guess that's what he's good at, stopping the run and laying the boom. Can't play in zone, so if you leave him there, he's not going to be great in pass coverage. He's just going to be a run stuffer and, then, and, you know, tackler, secure tackler at that. But not exactly my cup of tea in terms of linebacking. But, again, that's why I like Ray Lewis, because he's going to be this card with slightly better zone, way better hit power, better block shed, and better speed. Because, again, if Avery Williamson had, like, an 87 speed, it wouldn't be as bad, because then he could be a user with hit power and block shed and everything. But it's about it for the LTDs. I do want to get into the team standouts and all that stuff, so let's head on over to that. So, team standout series two, play through a highlight moment for each of the team standout players. Complete all 32 challenges to earn your choice of an 89 overall standout player to add to your team. See the team standouts mission in Team Affinity for more information. Now, here we go, going to the next screenshot. This is the thing right here exchange team of the week players to earn an 89 overall team standout. It's 32 plus sets, it's gonna be 32 new team standouts. Are they all gonna come out tomorrow? Not sure. We will know more information in tomorrow's stream. I did see three new players, but that could have just been the reveal for tomorrow. So, more than likely, they're all gonna be there. I just don't make any promises. The 32 players, that's a lot of players. All 89s, hopefully, I believe. So, that's a really, really good player right there. That, that's great, that's great addition. Plus the 24 new power-ups is pretty awesome as well. Always love getting some new power-ups. Especially, like, guys like, you know, I don't wanna say it yet until we get to this. Let's head over one more. Josh Allen, as you guys can see here, big, been deserving of a card, having an MVP level stat season at least. And in terms of that, he's been, he's been, he's deserves, he deserves a card. Power up, he can get to a 90 overall, so that's cool. We got William Jackson, Kyle Fuller, Justin Simmons. Now you do use Team of the Week players to earn these uh, team standouts, so if you have any extra of those, it's probably rising in value right about now. Now let's go over some of these stats. Josh Allen, 89 overall, 82 speed, 93 throw power. 85 short accuracy, 84 medium accuracy, 83 deep accuracy, 83 throw under pressure, 89 throw under run, 84 play action. Not bad. Uh, the only issue is gonna, he's going to be like a Michael Vick, but slower, right? If you think about it, because power up and chemed up, he's going to get to a 90, just about a 99 throw power. He'll probably get to like a 98 throw power or 97 throw power. 
But the issue I'm having here with Josh Allen is going to be that his short, medium, and deep will not be threshold, only throw on the run. So essentially, Michael Vick gets the deep threshold, has a plus 10 speed, and has the same throw power just about. So I'm still going to rock with Michael Vick, but Josh Allen and the Bills team seems probably great. I just don't think he's worth the upgrade over a guy like Vick. Now, if you can't afford him, Josh Allen's not a bad substitute. You know, he's going to be decent. He's going to be an average, average passer with great throw power and decent speed. I mean, nothing too special there as well in terms of the speed category. But still cool, Josh Allen's been well deserving. I like team standouts because it does give everyone a chance to get some cards that are having great seasons that they quite just couldn't fit into maybe Team of the Week or a promo or they're not fitting them into most feared. Now, moving on from that, we got Alvin Kamara, another guy who's having a phenomenal start carrying the Saints to start the year. Um, he's been great. He's been carrying the team with Michael Thomas out, put the team on his back, maybe even Drew Brees, slightly washed up arm. But despite that, Saints fans, Alvin Kamara is going to be back in the game with an upgrade. 88 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 85 carrying, 77 catching, 86 exchange of direction, 93, 83 truck, and 87 break tackle. Can be powered up, of course, so powered up and chemed up, he gets to an 89 speed, 92 excel. But what do we really care about here? It's just going to be the speed upgrade. I mean, it's not going to change any thresholds for him. It's not going to change much. Really, that's going to change is just the speed to an 89. Now, I still don't think 89 speed is all that usable. We got guys like Reggie Bush, we got guys like Barry Sanders, Bo Jackson. We have plenty of fast guys. I just really don't think Alvin Kamara is all that great. And then again, maybe you want to argue that he's a receiving back, possibly. But again, I don't think he's a guy for me. Now, I wish if they just give Alvin Kamara a 90 speed, right? I don't get it. In, in real life, he's actually pretty fast. I get it. he's more. You know what it is? They they discount patient runner speed. Yes, Le'Veon Bell and Kamara are patient runners, but when they actually use their speed, they have it. So I don't understand why they. Because in Madden, there's no such thing as like patient running. You know what I mean? Like it's not like oh. Alvin Kamara could be patient and, and bounce off tackles like no one else can do, but you can do it with any running back. So it's upsetting when they kill their speed because like Le'Veon and Kamara do play very patient. Kamara all the time, he starts walking behind blockers and jogging and then cutting off, but that doesn't mean he's slow. But anyways, DK Metcalf, this one's actually the most exciting one of them all. 92 speed and he can be powered up, so he's going to get to a 93 speed, which is probably the fastest powered up card I believe in the game, or at least tied for it. 92 jumping. 84 catch, 87 catch in traffic, 88 spec, 86 short, 83 medium, and 86 deep. Now, here's what really matters here. Powered up and chemmed up. He can get the 90 deep route running threshold, which means he is going to be one of the most insane deep route runners in the game, especially with that 93 speed. Guys, it's going to be crazy. This DK Metcalf is going to be super, super fun. And as Crayla likes to call him Meta Cap, it does apply here. He may enter the meta as one of the best deep route running speed guys. Not to mention he's 6'4", I believe, or like 6'3", I think 6'4". And he's actually pretty good at catching everything else here. Again, he doesn't get threshold and all this stuff, but if he did, it would break the game. So I see why they didn't do that. So like I just said about what I'm going to do, if you guys watched my overrated video today and you guys watched it, you'll understand who I put on there. One of the reasons for is going to be this guy right here. Same thing, but better. And in my opinion, guys, this card's awesome. But that's about it for the video. I think I covered just about everything I want to talk about today. For the most part, in terms of, you know, team standouts, in terms of LTDs. Now, again, who do I think is a dub here? Avery Williamson, L. Josh Allen, kind of an L for me, in my, my personal opinion. Uh, but again, DK Metcalf's a W, for sure, 100%. Alvin Kamara's an L. I think DK Metcalf and Darren Waller are complete Ws. The other ones are Ls, but again, we have 32 players. All we saw was William Jackson, uh, Fuller, Josh Allen, one other guy there. There's going to be plenty of others, guys, hopefully maybe for team standouts. I don't know who the, like, the Giants, like who do they give? Darius Slayton, maybe? Sucks they can't say, you know, Saquon can't get a card there. But it's going to fill a lot of gaps, so I'm kind of excited for that. But that's about it for the video. If you want to pick up any of these LTDs today, especially Waller's going to be super expensive. Heading over to Mutt Reserve. You guys going to need them. Dar Darren Waller's going to run Weekend League this weekend. If you guys need them, going to be a few million coins. Go pick up some coins or buy them directly once it's available on the site. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Make sure to subscribe, you guys. Come join the Poodle Squad. Like, turn that notification bell, and comment down below. Poodle Squad. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.